Okay, this is another rigid body tutorial, and it's also going to deal with collision. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show that um, when you apply rigid bodies and they have physics engines, that they could do things like bounce. That's what I'm going to do. So first, I'm going to add our, you know, basic objects like a plane, flat plane, and I'm going to add another object, um, a sphere. Okay, let me just start off by resetting the position of the sphere and resetting the position. Oopsie, what is that thing? Resetting the position of the plane. Okay, then I'm just going to take the sphere, select it in the hierarchy window, and then move the sphere up. So tap have something happen. So right now I have a plane and a sphere and there is no rigid body on the sphere. But the sphere does have a sphere collider already and a plane does have a mesh collider already. Okay, so if I go here and I press play with no rigid bodies then basically the game goes into play mode and nothing moves. Oh, also let me set the camera to this viewpoint. I select the camera and then say game object, align with view. There we go. So that the camera is looking the same way we're looking in the scene. Now on the sphere, I'm going to add component and go to physics here and add a rigid body. Okay. And I'll leave everything by default the way it is using gravity. Mass of one. All right, now if I press play, the ball should drop. Boom. And then when it touches the plane, it stops. So let's see. On a sphere collider, there's something called a material that I could put there. So let's see what materials are available. Right now in my scene, I don't have any material available. So I'm going to create a physics material right here physics material and I'll call this one bouncy all right and with bouncy selected I go to the inspector window and there's a value for bounciness so zero is not bouncy at all and one is totally bouncy maximum bouncy so I could put any value between zero and one I'm gonna put 0.8 Okay, so the sphere is going to have a bounciness of 0.8. So now, let's press play again and see what happens. The ball drops and it just hits. Why? Because I forgot to do something. I made this material called bouncy, but I forgot to put it on a sphere collider. I'm going to put the physics material which has this little green icon. Pick it for my sphere collider. And that'll tell it, tell the collider how to act. Here we go, press play. And now when the ball drops, it bounces. See that? It's cool. So that's how you make a ball bounce. No code at all. Just putting things in there and letting them act the way they behave naturally with physics.